are going to create out of clothespins and buttons race cars. Yes, and the cool thing about these is that they actually work. So after we're done here, you can go and create a cool race course with inclined planes and race against a family member. So uh, let's get started. All right, we're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need some scissors, a clothespin, two twist ties, a straw, and it doesn't matter if it has that little bend or not. You're gonna need four buttons and some tape. Now it doesn't matter if your buttons are four hole or two hole or even have this kind of little buttonhole down at the bottom. You can use any of those. Um, the only thing you need to really be sure of is that all four of your buttons are the same size. So you want similar sizes for all four of your buttons. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a twist tie and we're going to put it through a buttonhole. Any buttonhole to start is fine. Get this guy in here. Okay, and then I'm going to continue threading him through. So there we go. All right, we've got one set. Let's do it with the other one. I'm gonna take my twist tie, I'm gonna stick it through one of my buttonholes, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to feed it back through another buttonhole. There we go. And twist that guy up good. You wanna keep the wheels on the car. Look at that. We've got one wheel on each of our, our axles. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my straw. I'm gonna cut it about an inch of my straw off on each, for each of my wheels, all right? This will be the axle, so I'm gonna feed through my twist tie like this. I don't want it to be too tight or else it will not allow my wheels to roll. So I want to give it a little bit of room. And on the other side, I put my other button. I've got my wheels all set. You see it has a little bit of room in there. I'm gonna twist my twist tie around. And here we go, we've got our first set of wheels. Let's do the same thing with the next twist tie. We're gonna stick that twist tie right through the straw, just beat it on just like that. And then I put my other button or wheel onto the twist tie. Now it takes a little bit of work to get it just the right amount, but you want it close enough to the straw, but not so close that it doesn't allow the straw to move on its own, right? So the wheels should be able to turn on their own. All right, now I've got two sets of wheels and they're ready to go. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my clothespin and I'm gonna put one set of wheels right inside of there. It shouldn't be so tight that it squishes the straw. If it squishes the straw, it won't allow the wheels to roll back and forth. So you might have to play with that. Um, the other thing is I think my buttons might be a little too small. Uh, it's not gonna totally hold up my little car, but you can play around with button size as well. My second set of wheels, I'm gonna stick right inside of there, just like that. And you can see my little car is all ready to drive. However, I need to tape in those back wheels. So I've got my tape. This is a really, really simple craft and it's fun because you can spend the rest of the day racing them 
making inclined planes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape the back like so, nice and tight, so that my back wheels don't fall off. Oh, and we're ready to roll. Vroom. <laughs> and that's how you make a car out of clothespins. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.